And on the fence, this is Shane. Thank you so much for joining. Well, people are asking, what did you experience? Did you have any experiences? Well, a big UFO did not land in the field and give us any rides that I can remember anyway. Um, but other than that, I was not disappointed. I did get to see some really extraordinary things, and I did get to capture some of it. This particular video here is from John Benny. I just stopped recording when it gets to the rain part here, but we observed observe this light on the mountain in a few different places. I noticed it up further up here a few times. Actually, when it was up in here, it would move in impossible ways, like it would, you know, jump over. You know, imagine this is 13 miles away, so for it to move over even just a, a small amount, that's a considerable distance when you're talking it's 13 miles away, and the fact that we can even see the light to begin with is incredible. But uh, I do have this link below to John Benny's footage. Uh, let's see, here we go. Yeah, look, I'm filming it. Look at that. It's so close. They're up on the mountain there. There it goes. Whoa. 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 Woo. Four. Now, it's really important to note on this particular footage here. Look at just how thick the rainfall is right now and um, at this particular time. So that power up on that light was so bright it was able to penetrate through all of that rain, which was incredible. I saw this, like I said, I had just stopped filming, so I was right there hooting and hollering with everybody else. We all saw it together, a number of us. Thank goodness John was still recording. There Kind of goes out of focus Four. there a little bit, but Encore. you can see it was, it made everybody excited to see that just as the rain was coming in. And then uh, here's a little clip I've got here. This is just this hanging out, looking at the mountain, and I was capturing this light that you'll notice down in the bottom corner. This was another light on the mountain that we captured, but you can hear a little bit of our conversation with James. So they're showing up lower. But the light's up there. Yeah. Now watch right over here. Oh, he's moving. Oh, yeah, I just saw it flash again. Do you see this light over here? Let me back it up. Light's up there. Yeah. There's a door that opens right about there, and there's a. Oh, he's moving. Oh, yeah, I just saw it flash again. So the cave opens up right here, the door here. Okay. And these, when they remote. The blue light is his laser. Yeah. They turn out to be like key lightning. Uh, he's explaining what the lights we just saw were Flash right there. there. So the cave opens up right here, the door here. Okay. And oh, these, when they remote viewed these lights down here all yeah. the time, they turned out to be like feline beings. Oh, feline. Oh, cool. at it. oh, well, that's right where we just sit, yeah, saw them. I'm yeah. Yeah. yeah, whoa. But I don't, you know, that's weird because that's kind of an orange light. It's yeah. Like a, yeah, it's almost fiery looking color. Yeah. We went up there and we drove up as far as you could. We hiked all the base of the mountain mm -hmm. and and looked for a road or anything. Cold Springs mm -hmm. is right about here. Right. It's right about here. It's down low. That's his, that's the only road there. And then the hikers go up here, right up this ridge. So that's where they hike the mountain. But this is like straight up and down. It's really steep. Wow. Really treacherous. Now you'll see the light again here. Somebody else has got a laser. It's not the laser yeah, dancing around over here, but it's the light right over in this area. Just sort of fiery looking light. Somebody else the feline beings. He's saying. Yeah, I always double check everything. I'm my own, I'm my own worst critic. You know, it's like okay, so that's that. Let me move on here to. Okay, we're skipping these. Now, this is when Sherry and I were out looking for <clears throat> Bigfoot or orbs or anything. And notice this. You'll see this sort of an orb here on the side here. Um, let me get rid of this art so I can see a little bit more here. There we go. So, as you see here, I took two images close to each other. 
and this particular image here has an orb and it almost looks like some movement here and this is off the screen but I don't know it's sort of a diagonal line there that seems to appear along with this orb type I don't know what that is it's, it's almost iridescent in a way but anyway it's pretty cool Moving right along. Now check this one out. This is, uh, Sandy and I were filming Shiny. Now this is Shiny up here, so don't think that's a ghost or anything. She's just really far away and you can barely see her. But Eileen starts to walk away here. And watch this. Like, are you videoing? Yeah. yeah. See if they follow us. She says, see if they follow us. Did you, did you see that? Yes. <laughs> did you see the orb seem to take off and follow her? Yeah. yeah. Did you, did you see that? Yes. It's right here at the bottom. I'll do it again. Did you, did you see that? Yes. Did you, did you see that? Yes. That's, that's funny. Okay, so I knew Eileen would enjoy that one. Okay. Here's another time when I took an image, you know, just two images apart from each other, and it seems to capture something here. These orbs streaking across here in a really strange fashion. Plus, there's something up here that's only in this image. I don't know if that captured something in the sky or what. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Here's another one. And you can see here Shiny and Sherry were together taking an image, and uh, these taken just moments apart. Got these sort of really similar to the one with Eileen and I. There's even something right here streaking across there. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Okay, I wanted to show this because I started taking images uh, with the shutter open for 10 seconds and you do get things like this. <clears throat> this is uh, an airplane. You can see the light was flashing on and off at the, at, as it's traveling over the 10 second period that the shutter was open on the camera. You can see I did another one right after and you can see this airplane's flying across the sky, right? Here's another one where you can tell it's a plane because it's a dotted line. Just wanting to show the difference between what I captured because this one here is amazing. Um, let me zoom in. I want to show you that the stars are stationary. You can tell the camera was stationary <clears throat> for 10 seconds. We got some nice crisp dots for stars. And then we have what I wasn't sure if the camera caught, but it looked like a ship had phased in to like this reality or, you know, into visible light our spectrum what we can see and it actually caught it on tape it was different than a shooting star it was more like it just came in you know and i i was afraid the camera had shut off before it actually captured it but now it actually captured it so check this you can actually see it streak in some kind of craft or a ship right there you can see it's I was afraid it didn't get it, but let me show you just around everywhere. You can see how everything looks. Then when we get to this one, it's really cool. Really happy about that one. That's probably the coolest. It looks more, most like it's shifting. These other images I caught look more like, uh, what is this? This is storm footage. Okay, so this was before the footage where we caught the light or that John let me go ahead bump it forward let's see what do we got okay this is probably that might be John there recording his video over there somebody's recording a video here somebody else might have caught that light anomaly in the beginning that would be from that same time Okay, here's some really nice images where I left the shutter open, but was able to, I believe this one here, 
See, did that seem like it was a plane? Okay, that seemed like it was a plane. Because if you see these three shots in a row, you can see it's traveling up here and up here and up here. And if you look close enough, you can probably see the light flashing on it. But okay, so... Let's see where this one is. Okay, you can see, once again, the stars here. That first night I stayed out all night just trying to capture some of what I was seeing coming in here. I actually did see what I, you know, it looked sort of like a satellite, and it was, you know, moving across the sky. But then it changed and started moving at a 45-degree angle, and then it just stopped, and it became, a, you know, stationary. And as soon as it stopped and I couldn't see it moving anymore, I lost it amongst all the other stars. But it was a neat little spectacle that the that he put on to let me know, hey, this isn't a satellite. So that was pretty cool. I didn't capture that, of course. Or if I did, it didn't get the movement in it. Here's another one. Here you can see. The streak going across there. Here's another one here. Not sure about that one. That I wonder if that that might be a plane. I'm not sure. I don't see a regular pattern on it, but let's see what this one looks like here. This one covered a lot of ground, so it might not have even have traveled the whole 10 seconds. It might have just been a little fraction of a moment of one of the seconds, because you can see it doesn't look very bright. Very cool. So some of these are like. I don't know, you know, some of them could have been a, um, a shooting star or something, but some of them I don't think really look like that. They're just sort of too steady like this one. Looks like it just caught just a glimpse of it, you know. Here's another one. This is a pretty long one here. Pretty cool. So once again, leaving the shutter open on the camera for 10 seconds, any kind of movement it gets picked up as these lines. Here was a huge streak over here. Really cool. Let's see. Here's another one right in the middle. This was a nice one. I mean, there's so much activity that I don't know how many of these I was like, did I see something? Did I see something? <laughs> like, check the picture, and sure enough, there it is, you know. This was a really quick one. I remember seeing this one. In fact, you can, um, you can see the lines from my laser. I was pointing it out to someone, but that's what this sort of lighter area is here. That's my laser circling it. But it's actually the streak is what we're looking at here this very faint you can almost miss it but. so that is really it that's what I captured on film had a wonderful time I was not disappointed at all I um, I really really did have a good time and then on top of uh, all this stuff meeting people I would have liked to had some Bigfoot experiences like some of the other people but I love to hear everyone else's experiences so you know, I'm totally happy with how everything played out. Lots of love to you guys. More on the way. If you'd like to support the work I do, go to paypal.me slash UOTF. Thanks.